victory is in our hands. Lottai les da la bienvenida al Dakar 2011. After a well-deserved rest day, the pilots were back on the Dakar tracks this Sunday morning. On the menu for them, stage 7 between Arika and Antofagasta. Originally, this was supposed to be the longest stage of this edition, but the selective section was reduced to 273 kilometers. In the bike section, the last two stages were clinched by Portuguese riders. Paulo Gonçalves won stage 5 and Helder Rodriguez won stage 6 on Friday. Observers expected the two favorites, winners of the last two Dakars, Mark Coma and Cyril Depre, to do their best to reaffirm their supremacy. Except that after the Lusitanians, a Chilean came to frustrate their plans. In the stage to Iquique, Francisco Chaleco Lopez missed the victory. This Sunday, he didn't let go of his chance to get a fifth stage win in his Dakar career. At kilometer 176, he had a four minute lead over Mark Como. Chaleco's navigation has clearly improved compared to the previous editions, and his domination in his homeland was not to be opposed today. At the finish line, he was still 2 minutes and 21 seconds clear of Mark Coma. Time to react for Coma and Depre is the third stage in a row without a win for the two KTM riders. However, they still lead the overall standings. Coma is first, followed by Depre, 7 minutes and 24 seconds behind. In the car section, the fancy drivers for the final victory run for Volkswagen. Their main rivals, the X-Ray team of BMW, seems to be dogged by bad luck. First, on Saturday during trials, Gerlain Shishri flew his mini countryman off the track and the damages forced him to retire. Today, Oscar Terranova, another BMW driver, had to withdraw after some assaulting, a shame for the Argentinian. Their leader, Stefan Peterancel, seemed to be on a downward slope with a new flat tire after just 15 kilometers of racing today. Already on Friday, he had suffered four punctures in the last 100 kilometers of the stage. Today, he drove conservatively and lost 7 minutes and 40 seconds to the stage winner. And his gap with the leader of the overall standings, Carlos Sainz, is now over 21 minutes. It was a day for Volkswagen with a stage win and a confirmation of the overall lead. The three fastest cars to get to Antofagasta were all made in Wolfsburg. Nasser Alatia won his first stage in this 2011 Dakar, the tenth of his career, and he was followed by Carlos Sainz and Gignard de Villiers. The Catalan driver is still gaining ground on the Spaniard. He's now just 1 minute and 22 seconds adrift. Peter Ancel is third, followed by de Villiers 11 minutes further.